It affects us every day, and we are surrounded by it. Yet most of us don't really know what it is or how to recognize it. It's climate change. And believe it or not, it is a problem that needs our immediate attention. Climate change is a change or an alteration in what we expect from our climate systems on average globally. You usually look at climate change over a period of 30 years or more. So it is not the weather that we look at daily, but it's ch average changes in our weather patterns and in our atmospheric conditions over a 30 year period or longer. We enjoy a land filled with natural treasures and exotic creatures, breathtaking beaches, and an ocean teeming with fish. But these precious resources are increasingly at risk due to climate change. Climate change affects the way our marine animals live and reproduce in our waters. And it affects how and what we grow on land. The reality is, our beaches, fish, and native crops may not be around to be enjoyed by our children or their children. If you go back, let's say, 10, 15 years ago, there was a time when fish was everywhere. And because of climate change and the, the storms and the hurricanes, we have seen it diminish in fish, in conch, in lobster, in grouper, in snapper. Over the past five seasons that we've been having a, a really intense warm spell quite early in the season, like in April sometime. And actually this past season that, that really put a, a hit on my crop and I essentially had to end sooner than I would have usually. Our climate is warmer than it used to be. Warmer climate presents warmer oceans, and warmer oceans are the perfect environment for the development of devastating hurricanes, like Hurricane Dorian, the most devastating event in Bahamian history. This Category 5 hurricane cost us heavily in lasting infrastructural and economic damage, and more importantly, human lives. People are still struggling in Abaco. A lot of people are moved to the States. Abaco is known for, you know, its attraction for, you know, the boating community and yachting community, uh, high-end uh, homeowner community, and, you know, everybody's gone. If climate change continues on this track, what we can expect to see are more intense storms like Dorian. We may not see more frequent storms, but the storms that we do get will be very intense. Another less obvious effect of climate change is land erosion. We are literally losing miles of land mass as coastlines erode due to rising sea levels. Rising sea levels, higher water tables, and storms naturally require that we construct stronger buildings and other infrastructure. This means higher costs for private construction projects and more expenditure for national infrastructural projects like roads and coastal barriers. We are now seeing more Category 4 storms, more Category 5 storms, and then there's Category Dorian. Um, so the building code is undergoing a change right now. What that will see in many instances is an increase in hurricane straps, higher foundations. Maybe we look to building on stilts. Solving the problem of climate change requires that we all change. This is why the government of the Bahamas has established an energy policy with the goal of converting to 30% renewable energy by 2033. Through financial investment from the Green Climate Fund, and partnership with the Caribbean Community Climate Change Center and other donors, the Bahamian government has already implemented several green climate initiatives, as well as incentives for those moving toward climate conscious living. The government has introduced incentives to encourage Bahamians to purchase solar panels and energy efficient appliances into their homes. If you were to buy a non-energy efficient appliance, you may pay 45%, for example, on a washing machine. But if you get the energy efficient one, the duty rate is 5%. The Bahamian government has also planted several flagship projects with the intent of replicating these models throughout the wider public sector. We have two projects that have been completed. One is the solar installation at the Thomas A. Robinson Stadium that is almost one megawatt of solar power. And the second one is a pilot project at the Anatole Rogers High School, which is 250 kilowatts of solar panels installed on the school. Most of the negative effects of climate change are due to everyday citizens like you and I, how we live, consume, and interact with our environment. Fortunately, there are very easy and practical adaptations we all can make that will have a hugely positive and lasting impact on our environment and our climate. It doesn't matter which corner or which island you live on. 
Now is your time to change. The future generation will suffer tremendously because we didn't put the right perspective in place to preserve a future for our future generation. A healthier climate means a higher quality of living and increased opportunity for all. It means a healthier environment and a country that we can proudly pass on to generations to come. So there's a Native American proverb that states, we do not inherit the land from our ancestors. We borrow it from our children. We are losing land. Our temperatures are rising. We're losing our natural resources with respect to our coral reefs, our fish, our farming. We're losing these things as a result of climate change. So it's not a particular set of people's problem. It's everybody's problem. Just like tourism is everybody's business, climate change is everybody's business. And the best way forward toward a healthier, better Bahamas is together.